Welcome back. More than 3,000 miles on a bicycle. One Cleveland man is riding across the country on his bike. He is starting in mid-August, and listen to this, folks. He's 81 years old. Josh Rowe has his story in tonight's Price of Freedom. Retirement for Tom and Pat Kaywood is not just porch swings and wind chimes. For this family, retirement is hard work. As far as the riding is concerned, we've been doing 20, 30 miles a day, mostly. Tom's been riding a bicycle most of his life and almost every day since Easter. He's about to ride a whole lot more. He has been talking about doing a cross-country ride since I met him, which is probably 30 years ago. Pat and Tom are leaving Cleveland on Monday, driving to San Diego. Tom will ride through the southern U.S. and will finish in St. Augustine, Florida. We want to dip our rear wheel in the Pacific Ocean and the front wheel in the Atlantic Ocean. His goal is to average 60 miles a day. Pat will follow in this RV. This trip isn't just about crossing a goal off their list. The K Woods want to help people in the process. The first one is to bring awareness and support to our disabled American veterans. Our family has generations of military tradition. Pat's father served in the Navy for 27 years. Tom was in the military in the 50s. We have a son that's serving in Germany now. He's career. Our son, Raymond, he, he was a Marine. He had just got back from Fallujah, had an auto accident. We lost him. He's at National Cemetery. They also have a granddaughter who was in the Navy and a grandson now in the Army. The DAV is just one charity they're working with. There's also the Live Strong at the YMCA, a program to help cancer patients and survivors, and a mission program called Send North America. It's a long trip, and at 81, he's been waiting a long time to do this. But he's not the oldest person to make the trip. But he's very close. An 82-year-old made a similar trip six years ago. He's a pretty tough old bird. Josh Rowe, News Channel 9. So just how tough is he? He has overcome several health obstacles to do this. He broke his hip a few years ago when he was 74. He was in a bad motorcycle accident, and he lost a kidney to cancer about a year ago. If you want to learn more about the charities they're working with you, we have a link to their Facebook page at this story on our website.